Once again, guys, this is Invested Show. As always, this is your host, Prince Dice, coming all the way from Honolulu, Hawaii, on this nice, beautiful day. Guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, share button. And if you guys got any comments or questions, just drop a comment below. Shoot me an email at askprince.royalfinancials.com. Or you can just also hit the uh, notification bell button to get so you can be um, on all the videos that I do. But anyway, guys, I don't have a lot of time. And I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So in this particular video, I'm just going to show you how you can purchase bonds on TD Ameritrade. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to research, and you know, research and ideas, and you're going to go to bonds and CDs. Bam. Now, once you do this, it can bring you up to here. You can do a quick search over here. You can do an advanced search over here if you know exactly what you want. But if you're like, kind of new to it, this is another way. They have a nice little wizard here, which is find individual bonds. Now, what this is going to do is going to ask you a couple questions so it can kind of see what kind of fits your criteria. It's asking you, the first question is, do you need this to be tax, uh, tax deferred account if you got an IRA or 401k, or is this going to be a regular individual joint account? Let's say if you got a regular individual joint account. So, next up is going to ask you, uh, does this investment need to be tax exempt, depending on your tax level? Um, I would, I would I recommend that you seek a tax professional, CPA, to go through that with you to see what you may be looking for. So um, it's asking you that because it's filtering out which ones it's going to show you. Some bonds are tax exempt, some bonds are not tax exempt. So you say yes, I need these investments. So let's say no. I, just for some, if you say yes, it's going to ask you for what state you're in, so you can see what bonds you want to buy. So we're going to say no just for going through it purposes. It's going to ask you what's your time horizon. Do you um when do you need your investment return? Within a year, one to three years, three to five. We're just going to say three to five. You can go all the way to twenty years or whatever you want to do. Optional, how much money do you have to invest? You can put it here. I only got $500, $100, $1,000, $2,000, whatever the case may be. You click on the uh, next step button. Now it's going to ask you what type of bonds do you prefer? You got treasury uh, uh, agencies and CD. You got AAA, AA, single A, triple B, all the way down to C. And what happened is this is the credit report. Just like we all have credit. Some people got an 800. Some people got a 700. Some people got a 600. Some people got a 5, 4, 3, whatever the case may be. The higher your credit is, the lower your interest rate that you pay out. Same thing in, uh, with corporate bonds. If you got a corporate bond, let's say if you're a very sturdy company, you got a high credit rating, and they know that it's a high possibility you're going to pay your, uh, you're going to be able to pay your debt, you, Pay a lower interest rate versus if you're a new technology company, you pay a higher interest rate. So that's the way you want. Let's say if you want to look at a high quality, right? Then they say, hey, do you want to allow these to be callable? I'm gonna just uncheck this. Callable is like, can the issuer call their bond back? For example, um, let's say if interest rates change, they go up or they go down, they can call their bond back at a particular time. Just pay the bond back and just pay the debt and get their bond back because it probably could get a lower interest rate or a higher interest rate depending on how things are going. You're going to hit continue. I'm not going to get into in detail about the interest rates and stuff like that on this particular video. I just want to give people a filter in a way that they can buy bonds. So now uh, we're going to click off CDs. I just want to look at corporate bonds. Uh, I'm going to take off the strip to zeros. No, we're just going to look at corporate bonds and government sponsored bonds. But you can click on all these if you want to see CDs and everything else. You know, this is a way that you can look at them. Now it's popping up. You know, they're saying, hey, your search results um, account, you got a regular account, taxable with a time horizon of 20, 20 to 22. Quality, you want the highest grade, callable, non callable products. They're giving you corporate bonds and agency bonds. So, boom, here you go. They have Johnson Johnson. They have Microsoft. They have, uh, well, Johnson Johnson and Microsoft. So, we're going to click on, let's say, Johnson Johnson, for example. You're looking at Johnson Johnson. It's giving you the uh, industry, right? It's telling you how much it's going to cost. So, they give you a calculator down here. The total cost of this one to be $5,040 because, at minimum, you have to buy at least five bonds at once. You can't buy half a bond or some of the bond or whatever the case may be. So you have to buy uh, five of them. Then it's calculating your price here. 
So let's say if you went to go purchase it and buy it, you want to buy this particular bond, you can calculate the cost down here. They have a calculator to calculate the cost. You can order how many you want, 5, 10, 15, 20, and you could buy. So these particular bonds are costing about $1,070. So right here it says 107. The way bonds are written, they're written in thousands, so it's 1,007. So it's selling at premium right now because of, you know, uh, the interest that it has. And so it's 1,007 times 5 because you got to at least buy 5. That's what it comes up with, $5,040 for this particular particular bond and it got its coupons here how much is it going to pay it pays out semi-annually um, it giving you the current yield yield to maturity um, and all that other great stuff so you get your little details and if you want to do you have a bond calculator up here you can use as well but you hit the buy button you go through and then that's how you can purchase a particular bond and be able to use the filter here on a Team Air Trade. Guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. Until the next video podcast. So whatever you see me do, goofy around the globe. Thank you. Peace. Be safe. I'm out. Thanks.